So check this out. Now this is hard to open. I'm gonna leave it in the description box, but this I had to like try to open like four or five times. It won't. It just buffered. I don't know why. Did it on two different devices and just um, back to the Fomorian thing because, like I said, there's um, there's something here to this, and I'm just not seeing it. Right, but the Fomorians are said to have had a body of a man and the head of a goat, according to an 11th century text. So they're giants. Some of them would be giants. Dark skin, though. Dark, dark haired, dark skinned giants. So I don't know who those pale giants are they keep showing, right? Some because you have to take the form of a goat, right? Man, some are like dogs that stand up. I mean, we're we're seeing all kinds of stuff. Some are, are uh, yeah. But all right, so this is what I thought of when I read that, right? You got that, and then I was like, oh, okay, now this starts to make sense, right? With the whole what Crumpus was, right? Oh, uh, Fomorian. And you always have people, I don't know, I always say people, you always have women that are infatuated with this. Remember Lucy, right? From uh, was it the Chronicles of Narnia. Go God Pam, the Pan Africans, the God of the Shepherds, right? If you, African was a name for the whites that lived in West Africa. Oh yeah, he's copulating. They were very graphic with that shit. Remember, she passed out. He, she woke up, he was crying. He said to forgive her for what he had done. So, just think about that, right? There's your Pam. Let's see, I don't need that no more. Like I said, you always have these women that are infatuated with the idea of sleeping with stuff like this. Infatuated with sleeping with uh, angels and crap, you know. Let's see. That's enough of that. Enough of that. Next thing I wanted to put on Afro-Asian, right? Something was bothering me. You have that. Check this out. You have, let's see. Native Americans. Now, Native Americans haplogroups groups are supposed to be X, A, B, C, and D, right? But the ancestors to haplogroup X is N. Now, N is going to be the, the good one because that N stage right here, there is a widespread argument in the scientific community concerning the African ancestry of haplogroup L3 Haplogroup N's, the, the haplogroup L3 is the one over all the haplogroup N's, all right? The parent, L3 is the parent of all the N's. However, whether or not the migration which defines haplogroup N itself first occurred within Asia or Africa has been a subject of outgoing discussion and studies. So, <laughs> the father, the mother and father over haplogroup N, who gives you uh, a portion of the X, which Native Americans are supposed to share in, was either African or Asian, they say. Well, we know that they were Afro-Asiatic, right? And that the Chinese that we call Asian... even one single individual that would, could be considered as the descendant of the Homo erectus in China. Rather, everybody was a descendant of our ancestors from Africa. The result couldn't have been any clearer. But how do you want me to feel as a Chinese person? After I saw the evidences that we generate in my laboratory, I think we should all be happy with that because, after all, 
modern humans from different part of part of the world are not so different from each other, and we are very close relatives. That's great. So you know, we have it there that you know they tried to prove that their Y chromosome was unique and it formed in Africa, but or not Africa, but in Asia, but it is connected to. Whatever it was that came out of Africa and landed its ark in Asia Minor, Africa, Anapa Group DE, right? Just looking at it over again, Nigerians are an example of Africa Group DE. They are West Africans and quote unquote, or quote unquote West Africans, they, because in my opinion, they've been placed there, but that's another argument. And East Asians, okay? Yeah, the mixture of the two, so that's why you got to look at ancestry sideways when they try to tell you that you're 84%, you know, um, Nigerian, you know, 23% Mali, and you know, and all these other numbers, but they don't show you any Native American and they don't show you any Asian, but they're telling you that you're a Nigerian. Do you see the contradiction there? How can you be the parent? How can you be a parent to the Native American and your genetics don't show up when you do those tests? You know, how come, you, I mean, because that, that, it shows you, you have to, I mean, because they're not testing the people alive today, they're testing the bones, or the, right, and the fossils. That's what they keep wanting to point out. The fossils here and the fossils there. So that means you, your E Y chromosome would have left Africa and would have ended up somewhere else. Your D Y chromosome would have would have left Africa and went to, to Asia, right? And went into the Americas. You're still connected to it. Let me see here. What was this? This is more DNA. I don't need that no more. Apple group M. Yeah, I don't need that anymore either. It's always Africa and Asia. Africa and Asia. Africa and Asia. It's because we got kicked out of Asia when we married the princess uh, there on the king's wedding day. Fama went to war. What a marriage gift that was. And then, uh, oh, that's what it was. There was uh, an island around here. I'd seen uh, Reuben Island. I won't find it right now. It's around Japan. It's an island called Reuben Island. Oh, when I was doing the Fomorian DNA, I was reading about it. They claim that the Fomorian DNA it can be found in, get this, it, it's uh, part, it can be found in haplogroups E, right? It's supposed to be West Africans and blah, blah, blah. But it says it can be found in Africa of East, and it made me wonder about Solomon when he wrote um, in the book of Songs of Solomon, where it talked about the depiction of um, either the bride or the bridegroom. I can't remember which one, but it says, you know, the blue eyes and the blonde hair and gold and stuff like that. Um, but they used the word in the Vulgate. When I looked it up, it meant like uh, monsters, like some type of weird looking dog horse that the French were riding on, right? But it also meant like a mermaid. <clears throat> and I just started thinking, that's an afro. That's an afro. That's an afro. That's the hair of a child that's mulatto. I know you're going to say, oh, the skin color is all the same. And it is. But that hairstyle, the straight hair like that, that's like those mulattoes. I'm just saying. Did Solomon sleep with them? I don't know. It's just a question I have. I don't have any answers. It's just a thought. And like I said, you got this here. Uh, different depictions of what the Fomorians look like, the, what the Phoenicians said about them. Phoenicians. Look at that. Look, they keep capturing that. They're at the end. Fomorians. They're at the end. It's just weird. And then you have... Was it uh, Cubans? Not Cubans. Um, Colombians. 
And you have... What's the other one? Sicilians. I just wonder, what's with that? At the end, you know. And I should also prove... <sighs> Sorry. When they talked about uh, niggas coming out of Africa and sleeping with the Sicilians and turning them their genetics, and they're not talking about uh, Africans or Negroes. They're talking about these things. Dark-skinned and dark hair. Because show me a, a Sicilian that looks like a Negro, that looks like an African, that looks like he's mulatto. You won't. But yeah, that goes back to the halfways. Yeah, that goes back to the DNA. There you go. Yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, I was doing this. Y'all check this out. I was taking uh, stuff and I was looking it up backwards, you know, because we're typing it in backwards to see what it would give me. That was, I was doing with Solomon's name. I haven't found anything as far as because normally there's some of these not 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 everything but some of these things you can find when you look it up backwards right you can take it and uh, put it in here and uh, search and post no, that's what I was doing sorry I'm getting I'm tired and I was trying to, well, that brought me back to Mario so never paid attention to that well so I'm gonna go back and read it and see what that was about. I mean, because, you know, everyone's played Mario. I just don't, I, like I said, I didn't pay attention to it like that. Let's see. And. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Check this out. Let's take the name Aslan. Right. As, let's see if we can get anything from that. Let's spell it backwards. N A L S A. Do we get anything? Nalsa. 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 Let's see. Can we find anything? Nalsa, the National Legends of Zelda. What is that? Uh, sorry, National Legend. Yo, the National Legend Service Authority? And why does it have lions for its logo? Like it knew. It's the Supreme Court? Look at that. Oh, that's awful. That's just awful. Don't do that. Yo, that's crazy. It's for India. Okay. All right. All right. Mm, something that's a. Well, that's what I mean. I'm just trying to do the whole Hebrew thing, you know, type things in backwards, see what it gives you. That's crazy. All right. All right. I think it's interesting too. They had the three lions for a logo. I don't, I'm trying to see if they showed us the logo. There. No, that's blurry as heck. All right. Well, you seen I did that. That's interesting. Wow. Let me see. What else can I do? Um. What was it? Narnia, right? In no, no, yeah, in. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm saying it. It's A I N R A N. Let's see what we get here. Ainrin. Ainrin. That sounds weird. Copy. Let's see here. Post. The name hmm. used in countries. It's used in Africa. It's Swahili. Don't seem like there's much to it. It's a trailblazer, blah blah 